For over a decade, he's been a mainstay in European politics. And now Mark Rutter's in pole position to take another leadership role crucial for the continent. The outgoing Dutch Prime Minister has received a number of endorsements to lead the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, or NATO. On Thursday, the White House backed Rutter for the job, as did the UK Foreign Office and a spokesperson for German Chancellor Olaf Scholz. Other messages of support came during the Munich Security Conference last weekend. And of course, with Mark Rutte, uh, we were partially nostalgic about the past and talking a little bit about uh, the future. And, and as you will know, he's in the running to become uh, NATO Secretary General, and I personally wish him the, the, the best of luck uh, in that uh, endeavour. The next NATO Secretary General will succeed Jens Stoltenberg in October. They'll have the challenge of sustaining the alliance's support for Ukraine's costly defence against Russia. And depending on the outcome of the US presidential election, they may have to work closely with Donald Trump, an outspoken NATO critic. In Munich, Ruta said Europe should focus more on Ukraine than on the presidential frontrunner. And we should, because you also mentioned the West, the US, stop moaning and whining and nagging about Trump. And we have to work with whoever is on the dance floor. Ruta said he agreed with Trump's assertion that Europe should be spending more on defence. NATO guidelines say members should spend at least 2% of their GDP on it. The Netherlands, though, has repeatedly failed to meet that target, but it is on track to reach it this year.